Hey guys, today we are going to discuss summary of the play Hada Gabler written by Henrik Ebsen. The play Hada Gabler is the story of a woman who is very complex in her personality. She is facing various psychological problems. She considers herself superior to all. This complex brings her death. Hada Gabler belongs to a high class family. She is the daughter of General Gabler. She is brought up with the belief that she is a prominent fellow. She does not allow anyone to let her down. She does not want to be slave. That's why she marries at 30. Her husband, George Tessman, is becoming a scholar. Though she does not like him, but she has to marry him only because she is crossing the age of marriage. She expects a good future of Tessman. When the play opens, we meet the bride, Hada, and the groom, Tessman, who have returned home after a six-month honeymoon trip. Julia is an aunt of Tessman. She comes to welcome the new couple the following morning. No Aunt Julia and the maid Bertha are seen to conversate on the bright future of Tessman. They remark that Tessman is lucky to become a professor in near future and also lucky in the sense that he has married General Gablet's daughter. George Tessman enters, greeting his aunt with warmth and affection. She inquires about the honeymoon, expecting to hear details of the romantic journey the young couple took touring Southern Europe. But Tessman recalls his tour for libraries to get materials for his book, The Domestic Industries of Brabant During the Middle Ages. His aunt is still curious to know if he has any expectations. At this, this man answers that he expects to be appointed a professor. Aunt Julia tells this man about his former colleague, Elid Loborg, that he has fallen a victim to his own misguided excess. She is very happy that this man may get professorship without competition with Loborg. Edith Dobog was in love with Hada some years ago, but the relationship did not get any strength. Meanwhile, Hada married Tessman. Tessman is quite unaware of the previous relationship of his wife with Lobog. Hada is tall and lovely. She responds coldly to the warmth of Tessman's aunt. She is bored by her husband's relatives. She has no deeper feeling for any of the relatives of Tessman. The maid announces an unexpected caller, a younger schoolmate of Hada and a former acquaintance of Tessman. This is Thea Alstead. She visits the house of Hada and Tessman. Actually, Elid Lobog has lived in her house as tutor to her husband's children. Thea says that he has managed to complete his new book. Now, he has left the village. She is worried where he has gone. Thea requests Tessman to receive Loborg if he should visit them. At this, Tessman goes to write a letter of invitation. Left alone with Thea, Hedda asks her questions. Meanwhile, Thea admits that her marriage is not a happy one. She has nothing in common with her elderly husband. She further says that he has married her only because it is cheaper to keep a wife rather than a housekeeper to look after the children. Thea discloses her friendship with Lobog to Hada. She further tells that Lobog can write nothing without her assistance. She proudly declares that Lobog's work is the happiest time she has known all her life. The maid announces that Judge Brack, 
a family friend of Tasman is standing outside the gates. This is the same Brack who has helped to arrange a house for Tasman. Not only this, but uh, other affairs of Tasman's family are also settled by Brack. After the announcement, a handsome mouse taste gentleman, carefully groomed and youthfully dressed, enters the house. About 45 years old, Brack is very smooth in manner and grows gracefully when he and Thea are introduced. Judge Brack talks to Tessman about his debts while Hedda sees her guest to the door. When she returns, Brack announces bad news that Lobok's book has been received so well, the writer might favorably compete for Tessman's promised professorship. After Brack leaves, Hedda says, I shall have one thing at least to kill the time with in the meanwhile my pistols, Tessman. Brack returns later. He finds Hedda playing with her pistols out of boredom. They talk frankly. Hedda tells Brack about her board on her honeymoon. She further adds that she has no deeper feelings for her husband and house. Soon Tessman arrives and talks turns to the state party that Brack is throwing a litter that night. Lobog arrives and talks to Hedda while Tessman and Brack drink in the other room. Mrs. Alstead is present at the house of Hedda. She is waiting for Lobog to return. Hedda is sleeping on the couch. Soon she awakes and sends Mrs. Alstead on her bed. Tessman arrives and tells his wife that he has uh, the manuscript of Lobog's book, which he has dropped while walking home full of drink. Tessman plans to return this manuscript but is called away, hearing that his aunt Rena is dying. Elit Lobog tells Mrs. Alstead that he has destroyed manuscript. She is very sad at this. Elit Lobog confesses to Hedda that he has lost his manuscript and that he wants to kill himself. Hedda does not tell him she has the manuscript. She gives him one of her pistols and tells him to have a beautiful death. He leaves and she burns the manuscript. Mrs. Alstead arrives, reporting to have heard that Elit is in the hospital. Brack arrives and confesses this, but reports that Elit is, in fact, already dead, having wounded himself in the chest. He knows well that bullet is from the pistol given to Elit by Hada. Hada leaves the room and after playing the piano for some time, shoots herself. That's enough. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel AR English Lab. Thank you. Bye-bye.